Hey guys, welcome to Red50. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about can you run 87 octane or the regular gas in your Mustang EcoBoost. I personally own a 2019 Mustang GT, but recently had the opportunity to drive this Mustang EcoBoost for about a week or so, where I was kind of able to test the difference between the 87 octane versus the 93 octane in the Mustang EcoBoost. So obviously when the S550 Mustang came out back in 2015, Mustang EcoBoost was introduced. Although the fourth cylinder Mustang was a hard pill to swallow at first, but the fact that it had the similar power numbers to the V6 with better tuning potential kind of sold many buyers. From 2015 through 2017, EcoBoost made 300 horsepower and 320 foot-pound of torque. And starting in 2018 and up, it made 310 horsepower and 350 foot-pound of torque. Since the Mustang EcoBoost is an entry-level Mustang, more often than not, buyers will choose to offer the Mustang EcoBoost due to the lower entry price point. And naturally, these Mustang EcoBoost buyers are also asking, can you run 87 octane on your Mustang EcoBoost? So in this video, we're going to answer exactly that. So in this video, we will be covering what impact Mustang EcoBoost is going to have in terms of, you know, the gas mileage, the power difference, and most importantly, if there are any potential engine issues in the future if you were to run the 87 octane with that being said let's dive right into the video all right so let's first take a look at the owner's manual for the mustang ecoboost and as you can see it does say you can run 87 octane but let's talk about the impact on running 87 octane on your mustang ecoboost like i said it's the minimum octane rating not recommended so now before we talk about the power difference which is actually significant let's talk about gas mileage so the 2021 Mustang EcoBoost gets 21 city, 32 highway, and 25 combined with the 10-speed automatic transmission. This is rated on the 93 octane, which in my opinion is pretty impressive for a car that makes 300 plus horsepower. Now, like I said, this is on 93 octane. So what happens if you were to run 87 octane in your Mustang EcoBoost? Well, it actually does not have significant impact. You'll probably see a decrease of one to two miles per gallon running 87 octane based on what I personally experienced. Uh, and a bunch of other owners have experienced throughout the forum. But this is a pretty much a wash because you kind of pay more money for the 93 octane. So total money spent on gas for X miles will be pretty similar due to the lower gas price of 87 octane over 93 octane. Therefore, the lower gas mileage on 87 octane is kind of a wash because 87 octane is obviously cheaper. So I think overall running 87 octane doesn't necessarily save you more money than running 93 octane on your Mustang EcoBoost. Now let's talk about the more important aspect, which is power. Is there any real difference in power between running 87 octane versus the 93 octane for your Mustang EcoBoost? On my personal 2019 Mustang GT, I've tried something similar and most people report about 1-2% to power difference, which honestly I was not able to tell. However, for Mustang EcoBoost, it's a lot different since it's a turbocharged engine compared to the Mustang GT, which is an actually aspirated engine. So the Mustang EcoBoost 310 horsepower, like we mentioned earlier, is actually rated at the 93 octane and by running 87 octane, you'll see a power drop to about 275 horsepower which is a 12% decrease, which based on my experience was pretty noticeable. Now it's one thing to notice a difference in terms of zero to 60 time or the quarter mile time, which would imply that the peak horsepower is affected running the 87 octane. However, running the 87 octane on your Mustang EcoBoost, you can tell overall that the Mustang feels very sluggish. Even around town, you're just giving a gas that's not as responsive as it was on the 93 octane. So if you're using your Mustang normally and occasionally getting on it, You'll notice a difference with the difference between the 87 octane and the 93 octane which is recommended to attain the full horsepower mustang ecoboost is capable of now most of the mustang ecoboost buyers are getting the mustang for its look but also the power it offers at its price point so while the gas mile is more of a wash in terms of the 87 versus 93 octane the power difference is definitely noticeable which means it may make sense for the Mustang EcoBoost buyers or the owners to run the 93 octane over the 87 octane to truly feel the 310 horsepower your Mustang is capable of. Now the other thing to consider is that if there are any long term effects on your Mustang engine if you run the 93 octane versus the 87 octane. While Ford does recommend 87 as the minimum octane rating, the knock sensors in the Mustang EcoBoost is working very hard to keep the engine from knocking which isn't a great thing for a long period of time, especially if you intend to own your car for a long period. What this means is that ECU is able to recognize you're running 87 octane instead of 93 octane, 
and works very hard to prevent your engine from knocking, which is a death sentence for any car. In the case of the Mustang, it makes it EcoBoom. So if you intend to keep your Mustang EcoBoost for a long period of time, I definitely recommend keeping your knock sensor happy by running the 93 octane. The damage isn't certain, but can happen. The difference in the cost of running 87 octane versus the 93 octane in your Mustang EcoBoost will significantly be lesser than if you have to replace the engine on your Mustang EcoBoost. So guys, there you have it. As we can see, the gas mileage is pretty much a wash. You definitely get more power in 93 octane, and it is also better for your engine in terms of reliability, especially if you intend to keep the car for a longer period of time. So can you run 87 octane on your Mustang EcoBoost? Yes, as that's what Ford says is the minimum rating, but running the 93 octane has its benefits, and depending on your drive style, it actually may not cost you significantly more over the, over the ownership of your Mustang EcoBoost. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and comment below if you own a Mustang EcoBoost, what type of gas do you run personally? And as always, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more Mustang content.